Hello, hello gang, Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. Guys, this has become one of my favorite videos to film. It is such fun for me to show you what I'm working on and to have a good look at everything I'm working on myself, as bizarre as that sounds. You know, sometimes one tends to work on only two or three kits and you actually forget about everything you have kitted up. So I love showing you guys what I'm working on and also these videos have been very well received. Um, since I started doing them a few months ago, I've received so many positive comments about them and I know that you guys love seeing what I'm working on. So, welcome to the last Whip Parade video of 2023. I actually can't believe that we are at the end of the year. <laughs> this has been the most, uh, for me personally, just the most terrible year. I have had such a terrible 2023 and I am not at all sad to be saying goodbye to it. But on a happier note, guys, today I'm going to be showing you six, six kits um, that are all whips at the moment. And one of those, the very, uh, or the most recent one, is a new project that I've started. And this is the first time I'm going to be showing it on the channel. And so hang around. It will be the last of the six kits. So hang around and have a look at that definitely as well. One other thing to say, you guys. Now, those of you who have watched my Whip Parade videos in the past will know that the first canvas I showed you guys every month was a crystal drill canvas and I was just, okay, I'm going to be honest, I was just hating it. And it was nothing to do with the store or the canvas. It was totally a me issue. I just realized that full or it, or partial, I suppose, but I've never done a partial and I will never do a partial, but full drill ca crystal canvases are just not for me. And I remember saying to you guys that I am not going to give up. I am going to see that canvas through. Well, I gave up. <laughs> I have actually filmed my review video of that, but it won't go up until sometime in January. And so I don't want to go into too much about that kit here because obviously it's not part of this video and it makes no sense to go into it. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I did give up on it. Um, and so you won't be seeing it in this video. Right, so now in terms of some stats, let me give you guys some stats in regard to my current whips. Okay, so what I can confirm you guys is that I am currently working on three round drill canvases and three square drill canvases. I have a range of different canvases here. I have one from Pam Diamond Paintings, two from Ever Moment. Uh, how many from DAC? Sorry, I'm just checking my notes here. One from Diamond Art Club, one from the one with the Diamond Art, and let me not tell you the last one, actually. Let me keep that as a surprise. <laughs> so, between last month's video and this month's video, there are a few canvases that I have finished, and there are a few new ones that I have started, and so you will obviously see those. Right, okay, so let me show you guys um the first canvas right gang so this is the first canvas that i want to show show you or share with you it is the whip that has been a whip in my stash for the longest time out of the ones i'm going to show you this one i started working on on the 30th of september let me push her up and down so that i can show you guys how far i have now gotten so basically, this is obviously the top of the canvas. So you can see that I am nearing completion, not close, close, but getting there. Now, I will also give you some stats on all of these pieces as I show them to you and as I push them up and down. I am not going to go into detail, you guys, about my experience working on them. I really don't want to do that because I want to keep that for my, um, my post reviews. But just to give you guys some stats. So this piece is called Rapunzel. It is from Pam Diamond Paintings. The artist is Rose Prophet. It came in a size 50 by 85 centimeters. This is a round drill kit with 48 colors and a total of five ABs. Guys, 
I am getting some serious diamond painting fatigue now with this one. I need to try and get it finished. Look, I have really enjoyed it. For the most part, I have enjoyed it. I have found the confetti to be crazy, like crazy, off the charts. The heaviest confetti piece that I've ever worked on. And so that has taken away a little bit, perhaps, from the enjoyment of the piece. Um, it is a piece where I also believe there has been some unnecessary confetti. But in fairness to the store and the rendering process, the image, like if you look at the image itself, you will note that, you know, it is a piece where you could imagine there would be a lot of confetti. But let's rather just focus on how far I've gotten. So guys, this is all I have left to do pretty much. Um, obviously, I have to finish off this section here and then the top section. There is the tiniest bit of, I don't even want to say color blocking because it's not 100% color blocking, but the tiniest bit of, okay, let's use the word color blocking in the background. So I'm hoping this is going to be a, go a little bit quicker now. Um, I do need to finish it. I am getting diamond painting fatigue with this one, which is something that I do suffer with or from in 80% of the canvases I work on, I do tend to get diamond painting fatigue near the end. This one is no different. Um, I have had some slightly negative experiences with this one. Some of them I did canvas with you guys in my unboxing video. I wasn't 100% happy with the um, state of the canvas when it arrived. It had some very deep wrinkles and creases in it. They are still in it. I don't know if, if you can see it here. I think you can in the camera. Can you see that line going across there? That is a deep crease that I can't get out and that even when the drills are on there, you're going to be able to see that crease. And I know this because I can see some creases um, further down in the canvas, even where I have laid the drills. Yeah, and then just some, you know, the drills have been okay. They haven't been the best drills ever. And obviously the confetti has been off the charts. But I have a lot more to say, positive and negative, And obviously that will be in a post review. When I'm going to finish this one exactly, I'm not 100% sure. I have given myself a break and I haven't worked on this one now for well over probably a week or even 10 days. So you may see this one in one more whip parade video or maybe I will just pull myself together and maybe I will just be able to um, finish it as I'm supposed to. And what do you know, guys? It is my Libra canvas. I love this one. And as you guys can see, I am heading towards finalizing or finishing this one. So I think this is the last time you are going to see this one in a whip parade. Um, the next video you should see about this one will definitely be a post review. So keep your eyes out for that. Let me now just push her up and down and give you some stats. Okay, you guys, so you are pretty much right at the top. I'm just going to push her, like I said, up and down. So this one is called Libra. Um, this is an image that myself and my friend Tracy Berry created. I then sent it to Evermoment on AliExpress and had a custom made. So this is, in fact, a custom diamond painting. I ordered it in the size 55 by 70 centimeters. It is a round drill diamond uh, painting and my first one ever. My first round drill diamond painting from ever moment. And so I can't wait to do the post review and to share my thoughts with all of you guys. Um, this one came with a total of 42 colors and no ABs. I did not order ABs. If you order from ever moment, you can order with um, additional you know, colors. You can ask for lots of colors if you want lots of colors, and you can also ask for ABs. I did not ask for either. I was very happy with 42 colors. I normally say to Ever Moment, please don't give me more than 45. So this one came with 42. Um, I started working on it on the 28th of October, and as you guys can now see, I am very, very close to finished. Uh, happy days. <laughs> I have loved working on this one. You guys, look at the colors. Look how, you know, um, shiny and sparkly these drills are. But also look at how these neon, well, they're not actually neon colors. But, you know, they are coming out so well. When I first sent the image to Evermoment, I still thought to myself, mm, I'm not too sure if the real 
brightness of these greens is going to come out but i mean i think you can see just how amazing this looks the greens are so bright and the one thing i'm going to say because i'm not going into um, detail now but the one thing i can say is guys if you are looking for sparkly rounds rounds that sparkle the crap out of you this will be the store to go to i can honestly say that these round drills are some of the most shimmery and sparkly and shiny that i have ever worked with i am absolutely loving how this piece is coming together i am a very happy ever moment fan <laughs> today i don't think i have to tell you guys that you know but uh, i wasn't sure what experience i would have with their rounds um, I am 90% happy with their rounds and I would order them again. For more detail on that and to know about the 10% that I'm not that excited about, definitely keep your eye on the channel because obviously a post review will be coming up as soon as I finish this one. And I think it's quite obvious also that this will be the last time you will be seeing this diamond painting in a whip parade. Next up is a diamond painting that has just stolen my heart. I am just so in love with this diamond painting, you guys. I think I've told you that in every single whip parade. Um, let me get it so that you can see it right from the top. You can see that I still have a, quite a lot to do on this one. But here we go. Here goes the pushing it up and down so you can see it and see how far I've gotten. This is another canvas from Evermoment. It is another custom. However, this is a, a square drill diamond painting. This one is called Acrobat. It is not a design or an image that I came up with myself. This one I did in fact find on the internet. It is by a specific artist. He is called Yuri Uda, or that is obviously his name. Um, and I sent this one off to Evermoment to have this custom made after obtaining his consent to do that. So I haven't, there's no copyright issues with this one. He was so nice to deal with. He was so wonderful. And he said, yes, absolutely. Go ahead and, and have your hobby, you know, use it for your hobby and your diamond painting. So that was marvelous. So like I say, guys, this one is called Acrobat. It is in the size 50 times 75 centimeters. It is a square draw diamond painting, as I mentioned. It comes with 45 colors. And again, no ABs. I did not order any ABs. Now, if you guys remember in my last video, I hadn't quite gotten up to where I am now. So you are pretty much at the bottom of the canvas here. And then just pulling it down, you can see how much more I got done. Quite a bit more. I'm having a stunning experience working on this one the colors oh the colors are just so me the pinks and the the yellows and the blues and it's all light and paisley and it's just gorgeous and i'm very excited now obviously to be getting up to the section where the acrobat herself is but i do still have quite a bit to do as you guys can see so i don't think i'm going to finish this one um in the next month or so I don't know it's always hard to say because sometimes i start working on a piece and then i just want to work on it and other times i just do a, a few sections and then change it out but i'm sure you will probably be seeing this one again um and yeah i just hope you're all in love with it as much as i am these square drills again once again stunning stunning fitting together perfectly no gapping no popping so having amazing experience with this one when i do the post review what i will do is i'm going to pull the camera right down close to the drills so you guys can see how they fit together and to see if you know if they are the quality of drills that you would be happy with i'm obviously not going to do all of that now but yeah guys oh, this painting has my heart Next up is the one and only Diamond Art Club kit that I currently have kitted up. I don't know why I am only working on one Diamond Art Club painting. <laughs> I am going to have to correct that soon because I love my Diamond Art Clubs, you guys know. Um, this is one where there was a recent unboxing on my channel and I have gotten very far with it already, you guys. Just take a look at this. I just started working on it and it was just one of those paintings that just came along at the right time. I was needing a break from all the heavy confetti stuff that I was working on and I decided to, to, to kit this one up and to start working on her. And as you can see, I have done quite a lot. So by way of stats uh, and information, this one is called Guardian of the Winter Forest. The artist is Rita Konya. It is a DAC release in the size 45 centimeters by 65.5 centimeters. 
It is a square drill kit. It comes with 22 colors. There are no ABs in this specific kit, you guys, but there are three different special drills. I'm not going to get into that now, and I'm also not going to get into the enhancements that I have made, because I have made some, which is extremely unusual for me. I don't normally do that, but there was just something that I had to do to this kit. I'm going to keep that all for the post-review. Um, all I'm going to say at this time, guys, is that this kit really did arrive. When I say did arrive, let me rather say... This kit was the right kit to pick for me at that time because here in the hair, uh, you know, there is a lot of line blocking. I'm sure that is very obvious to you guys having a look at this kit. And I just needed something like that. The background actually doesn't have as much color blocking as one would think initially. I mean, initially I thought, ooh, this is going to be a color blocking dream. It isn't. There is a lot of changing of the blue colors and the blue hues and the blue shades in the background. But it was still the right kit for me at the time because all this hair and all this line blocking was just exactly what I needed. So guys, I'm having a great experience with this one. This is the first appearance in a whip parade video for this specific kit. And it will also be the last one because as you can see, I don't have much left to do. And so this one will definitely be finished by the time I film my next whip parade. My second last kit to share with you guys is this gorgeous one called Bat Girl. It is by the artist Fenera and it comes from the one with the Diamond Art, which is a diamond painting company based in the UK. This one you also would have seen a recent unboxing on my channel. And let me just show you where I've gotten to before I just finish off with the stats. Let me just leave that on the screen for a minute. So this one I ordered in the size 50 by 65 centimeters. When you order from the one with the Diamond Art, the one thing I love about their um, website and their ordering process is that you have so many different sizes to choose from. So if you are someone who likes massive diamond paintings, you can order them in a massive size. If you are someone like me who more prefers the middle of the range sizes, then you can get those as well. So that is really a plus of ordering um, through them. I chose this size, which I think may have actually been the smallest size. Maybe there was one smaller, I can't remember. But anyway, this is a round drill diamond painting. It comes with 36 colors and no ABs. That is intentional. I did not order ABs. If you guys head over there and you want to order this kit or any other kit, you can add ABs to your order. And obviously it increases the price slightly. I'm not sure. I think three or four extra dollars for ABs. But I, you know, you guys know me. I'm not the biggest AB fan. So I always choose to order my kits with no ABs. So guys, I started working on this one on the 9th of December. And as you can see, I haven't gotten very far. I've enjoyed it. I'm having fun with it. The purples and everything are divine. There is an issue that I should mention at this stage with regards to the drills that have been supplied. And those of you that watch my unboxing video will know that as I was showing you all the drills, I was getting confused myself because I thought they were resin. But then I started to see packets of drills that were definitely acrylic. They had the dimples in the back and all the rest. Just in summary, I contacted the store. These were supposed to be resin drills and they are not. I was sent acrylic drills and I was a little bit unhappy about that because I've placed, a, well, let me not say a lot, but I have placed a good few orders now with them and I have... Um, an order still arriving, which is a total of five canvases that I ordered over Black Friday. And um, those haven't arrived in my home in South Africa yet. And I'm very worried that all five of those are also going to have acrylic drills because this canvas came in a shipment where I had ordered seven canvases, I think, and all in rounds because I had such an amazing experience with Floral Kitsune. And then the next thing, these all arrived and the drills were not of the same quality that I had experienced in Floral Kutsuni. And it now turns out that these are in fact re resin drills. They are not bad, you guys. So for those of you who have placed orders, please do not freak out. These are not bad acrylic drills. The drills are absolutely fine. I'm enjoying working on this. As I look at this now, my lines are lovely and straight, which means that the drills in general are fitting nicely together. So please don't freak out. It is not a big issue. It is a issue, I think, because or an issue, because the website does advertise resin drills, so you should be supplying your customers with resin drills. It is a problem that needs to be sorted out. 
Um, from what I know, the company is busy um, discussing this issue with their manufacturer. What the resolution is, I'm not sure at this stage. I have asked, but as at the time of filming this video, I have not received a response, and so I can't update you guys on that. But obviously, you will be seeing this canvas in another video because you can see that I still have a lot to do. And as I get updates from the store, on the issue with the drills, I will let you know. But for now, please just know that they are acrylic drills, but they are good acrylic drills. It's not like I'm having massive problems and I want to throw the canvas away. No, not at all. Plus, how divine is this image, you guys? So, so pretty. <laughs> so, as always, I have thoughts about the store. I've had experiences to share with you guys in regards to the canvas, the drills, the customer service, all sorts of things. But that will be conveyed to you guys in a post-review video. So, for now, guys, let's leave this canvas and move on to the last one. Yes, gang, that is correct. What you are seeing on your screen now is a blank canvas. Well, you can probably or maybe see the grids on here. And that is because, yahoo, you guys, I've started my first ever cross-stitch conversion project. And that is why I didn't want to specifically tell you um, the company name at the, at the beginning of the video because it would have given it away because this is obviously an image and a design that I bought from Heaven and Earth Design. So... Let me show you what I have managed to get done so far on this massive canvas. This little corner here, this row here, <laughs> and something else. Wait, I'm showing you this before I'm giving you the stats, which is technically the wrong way around, but I will get there. Then this bottom part over here. I cannot um, pan this canvas up and down or push it up and down 100% because it is way too big for my desk so let me just put this tiny bit that i've done at the top let me leave that in frame this is indeed my long-term project for 2024 this project is probably going to take me the majority of the year um, if i was someone who only worked on one or two canvases at a time then obviously this would be a quicker process but because i don't and i work on six or seven at one time this project will take me the entire year so i'm not sure if you guys are recognizing this border already this image is called midnight moon celtic black cat it is um, from heaven and earth designs as already mentioned i got the image from their website the artist is bridget ashwood this one is a square drill diamond painting, which I presume is pretty obvious for you guys who know about cross-stitch conversions. They are pretty much always squares. And the size is 62.5 centimeters times 78 centimeters. So it is a very large kit. It comes with a total of 83 colors. It has 78,000 drills. And I started working on this one in now in December, on the 16th of December. So, you guys, I am super excited to be trying this. I'm obviously using the Pattern Keeper app, and I will probably film a video if there is some desire for it, just giving you guys a progress update on this specific kit, showing you how to use Pattern Keeper and so on. I learned how to use it recently, obviously, by just watching a whole lot of different videos on YouTube and then downloading the app onto my tablet and then just playing around with it and getting started. And let me tell you guys, the process is very, very different to a normal diamond painting. You actually have to really concentrate when working on a cross-stitch conversion and you will make mistakes. Luckily, this seems to be the type of image where the, few, the mistakes that I have made, and there were some, um, have just been absorbed into the image. They don't stand out as mistakes because all of these blue colors sort of blend in with each other. But trust me, you definitely need to have your wits about you. You need to be concentrating. You need to be counting. Um, and it goes very, very slowly. I think just doing this section here took me a full day. If I remember correctly, I started it on a weekend or thereabouts, or it was a public holiday in South Africa. I can't remember. We recently had a public holiday. No, I think the public holiday was the 15th of December, and I started this on the 16th, which was the Saturday. And I had no other plans that day, and I just sat and diamond painted, and all I did was that tiny section. Because it is just that sort of process. You can't rush it, even if you want to. And the other reason that it was so slow is because this was 
immense confetti. I mean, out of the 83 colors, there must have been 60 to 70 colors just in that tiny area. I was literally single placing almost the majority of that section and then single placing it in terms of a cross stitch conversion where I have to count all the blocks and the grids. So I'm really enjoying it. Like I say, I obviously did that section. And then what I realized was I was having to, to work on the top left there. I was having to work on this canvas upside down. So I then decided I was getting tired of doing everything upside down. So I wanted to work on the bottom right. And then I got this slightly bigger section done on another day. Again, I think this section took me an entire day. <laughs> So this is going to be a long-term project, but as I've said, very excited to be doing it. It is not something I'm going to be working on every single day or maybe not even every single week, but it is something that I will work on. For now, I'm not going to show you the full image of this one. Let me get a little bit further with it. I also realized that the actual, when I say show you the full image, I'm meaning the, the actual image that is on the printed legend for lack of a better word i do have that but it is in my file and my file is not with me at the moment some of you may be recognizing this pattern and when i say the artist is bridget ashwood you may be recognizing what piece this is but if you don't don't worry i will show it to you in another video perhaps in my next whip parade or even if i do film my um cross stitch conversion specific video i will obviously show it there but for now happy to be starting this one and yeah, very happy to be working on it. But uh, yeah, long term project going to take me the entire year. I will be surprised, actually, if I even finish this one in 2024. <laughs> but I'm not pressuring myself. These are not goals. I do not set myself diamond painting goals. So I will work on this one as and when I want to. Just in closing, guys, this canvas obviously is a blank canvas. I sourced it locally from a lady by the name of Simone in South Africa. In general, I've been happy with it. It's very nice and soft and plush. It's got the lovely scalloped edges and the poked holes. The glue has been a little bit stick, uh, slippery in certain parts, but in general, I'm not having issues. The drills, I got some of them from the same woman who supplied the canvas, but the majority of the drills I'm just using from my spare drill stash. And so I am experiencing a little bit of gapping. You can't see it from the distance this camera is. You can't see it even as I'm standing here now, I can't see any gapping, but I do notice the gapping when the light pad is behind it. But that is to be expected because my drills are just a mix mash of whichever drills I've decided to keep in my, in my stash. Anyway, this video I think has been longer than it should have been. I have probably spoken a little bit more than I should have about each canvas, but so be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing my whips. Hopefully you've enjoyed getting my thoughts on each of them. And, um, you know, yeah, just my initial thoughts that I can convey to you at this stage without going into too much detail. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please do enjoy your last week or your last few days of 2023. Make it a good time. Make it a fun time. And yeah, looking forward to 2024 and to going into the new year with lots of diamond painting content and lots of ideas coming up. So thank you so much for joining me, you guys, and happy diamond painting. Bye.